Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to 15 Minutes in the Word with me, Dr. D. We will pick up our reading in the book of St. John, chapter 5. If you have your Bibles, why don't you read along with us? And so the Word of God states, After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, blind, caught, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. So ever then, first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity, 30 and 8 years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will you be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them. He that made me whole, the same said unto me, take up your bed and walk. Then asked they him, what man is that which said unto you, take up your bed and walk? And he that was healed was not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus find him in the temple and said unto him, behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come unto thee. The man departed and told uh, the Jews it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father work here too, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him because. He not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal to God. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he see the father do. For what things soever he do, these also do the son likewise. For the father loved the son and show him all things that himself do, and he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. For as the father raised up the dead and quickened them, even so the son quickened whom he will. For as the father raised up the dead and quickened them, even so the son quickened whom he will. For the father judge no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the son, that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father, which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hear my word and believe on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death to life. Verily I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself and hath given him authority to execute judgment also because he, he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. 
I can of my own self do nothing as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that bear witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnessed is of me is true. You sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say, that you might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and you were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father has given me to finish the same works that I do. Bear witness of me that the Father has sent me, and the Father himself, which hath sent me, has borne witness of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape, and you have not his word abiding in you. For whom he hath sent him, you believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that you have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that come from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accused you, even Moses, in whom you trust. For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? I'm reading from the book of St. John, chapter 6. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias, and a great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples, and the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was mine. When Jesus went, then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, when shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, there is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fish, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were set Set down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. And Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king. He departed again into a mountain himself alone. And when even was now come, his disciples went down onto the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea toward Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty four loans, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. 
But he said unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land where they went. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land where they went. The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, save that one wherewith his disciples were injured, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone. Howbeit there came other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread. After that, the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when came thou here? Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perish, but for that meat which endure unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him whom he hath sent. They said, therefore, unto him, what sign show thou then that we may see and believe thee? What do thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, verily I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven, but my father gave you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which come down from heaven and give life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that come to me shall never hunger, and he that believe on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father give me shall come to me. And him that come to me, I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which see the Son and believe on him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he say, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father, come unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believe on me hath everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which come down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. 
who shall eat my flesh and drink my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eat my flesh and drink my blood dwell in me, and I in him. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eat me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eat of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? And Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it. He said unto them, do this offend you? What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the spirit that quicken, the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. And said Jesus unto the twelve, will you also go away? And finally Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus answered them, have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. That concludes our reading for today. I hope you enjoyed listening to the word as much as I enjoyed reading it. I've read from the book of St. John, chapter 5 and chapter 6. Well, until tomorrow, have a wonderful day. And remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. God bless you.